hello family welcome back to my channel i hope you all are well i'm over here in the city it's a beautiful gray day and it rained a little bit but i'm going to put some money in the meter and run across the street uh it's start back drizzling again oh gosh i have to get my umbrella and i'm going to pick up some produce so i'm back at home here and i have my produce yeah, it's sitting in some distilled white vinegar and some water warm water to be exact so we're going to make that soak for about 20 minutes and then we're going to comb and scrub them off so that they're nice and clean and safe to eat so i just want to chat with you all a little bit and i'm not going to talk your head off during the whole video there's sometimes i'm going to just let the music play and you can just see what i'm doing but what happened I got sick and tired of eating meat, meat, meat every day. I started to feel sluggish, tired, weak. So I know when I started eating my vegetable, I started by getting my energy and feeling good. So I just wanted to make a nice vegan meal, Caribbean style. I went on YouTube and I found an influencer came out a video. So I just changed it up a bit and made it my way. So I hope this is a inspiration to some of you who want who are just like you know you just want a Caribbean dish but you want a vegan dish as well so this is my version of a vegan Caribbean dish I hope you all enjoy okay so I'm going to get started here with my onion and clean it off I'm gonna set it aside I want to clean off my cutting board now this is my zucchini you can use any of your choice they sell it yellow they sell it dark green I like this one so I'm going to use this one I have my baby eggplant here. They sell these in all type of colors and sizes as well. You can use what you want. I'm using my potato and my tomato. Use any type you like as well. So for demonstration purpose, I'm going to show you how I slice my zucchini. This is how thin I slice them. But you can slice them as thin as you want or as thick as you want. Throughout the video, I'm going to pause at some interval and then I'm going to start back talking again. I did do a voiceover for this, so please bear with me. So in my mixing bowl, I then slice up my zucchini. I'm going to slice the other one and then I'm going to set them aside and continue slicing the rest of my vegetables. To all my beginner cooks, I clean off the ends. I don't use those. So let me show you. This is the top part and the end. I discard them, okay? Next, I'm going to peel my potato. You can use the peeler to be on the safer side, but you know when you've been cooking for a, for a long time, you just do what you want to do in the kitchen because you know you're used to cooking. So don't do what I'm doing if you're a beginner, but if you're a novice, you know, you know what it is. So after I clean off my potato, I'm going to slice them nice and thin. And like I said, I'm going to speed through this video with some of the slicing. But for demonstration purpose, the first batch I do take my time and show you how I slice it okay now that i have peeled my zucchini and my potato i'm going to add them to my mixing bowl and set it aside then I'm going to get started on my baby eggplant. By the way, in total, I used three baby eggplant for this dish. But if you're using the bigger eggplant, you might just need to use one or two of them. So that's why I use three because depending on the size, okay? But you do what you're doing in your kitchen. I'm going to use my Italian dressing. You can use any brand of Italian dressing of your choice. Let's try to get every piece covered nice. So drizzle is nice and easy on there. Take your time because we're going to mix this up in the mixing bowl. I'm 
going to add some onion powder. Adding some ground allspice. I'm adding some ground thyme. Add, I am adding some basil leaves. I'm adding a small pinch of salt. Now I'm adding some black pepper. I had some gourmet roasted garlic and bell pepper seasoning spice spice blend sitting in my cabinet so I'm going to use it this is the ingredients in the back of it so this is optional you don't have to use this if you don't have it but if you have it on hand it doesn't hurt to use it now let's give this a good mix take your time to evenly distribute all of the nice spices and seasoning in the vegetables make sure the eggplant the zucchini and the potato get a good mix now i'm going to add some tomato sauce i have some in a can this is the traditional version you can add you can spice this up if you want but this already has enough flavor for it for me so what i'm going to do now is add my chickpeas to it and i use two can of chickpeas so i'm going to evenly distribute it on the entire dish so i got a spatula and i started to separate it so that way each piece each section of the dish have chickpeas in it so that that way if i go to dig in i don't miss out on the chickpeas so everywhere i have chickpeas okay at this point if you wanted to add some brown sugar or maple syrup or cumin or garlic powder onion powder any type of herb you can do it so i have here my sliced tomato and red onion they're ready to go so let's fill up this dish and get it ready to put in the oven Remember, the amount of vegetables you use will be based on the size of the dish you use. So if you use a smaller dish, you won't need as much veg. But if you do use a larger dish, you will need more veg. So you'll be the judge of that. I'm going to start speeding up some sections here. Because I know you guys have a lot to do and you don't have time to sit down here. And watch me take my time and fill up this, uh, this dish, this baking dish. So we're going to move it along here. But that's how I did it. Now that I've finished, put all of my vegetables in my baking dish, I'm going to pour the excess sauce that was on it all over the vegetables. And I'm going to add some more sauce to it as well. If you want to put your maple syrup on it, you could at this point or anything else you want to add to it. Maybe some parsley flakes, whatever you like. This is what it looks like. You see all of my veggies, nice. They're smothered in nice, beautiful herbs and sauce seasoning. My gosh. That is beautiful. Can't wait to bake it. So I'm going to cover it up and bake it for about 40 minutes. 40, 45 minutes in my oven. We're going to set the oven at 400 degrees. Okay. This is what it looks like as it's baking. So let's, after 40 minutes, let's take it out and see what it looks like. I'm going to take my oven mitts and pull it out of the oven. Let's take a look at what it looks like after 40 minutes. Take your time and take it, removing the aluminum cover because it can it has a lot of steam. You don't want to get burned, you see? 
look at the side you see the steam coming out so be very very careful in removing the cover you don't want to get burned like i said look at that that's 40 minutes of cooking so now what i'm going to do is get my cookie tray put it on my cookie tray because i don't want to dirty inside my oven and let it sit there for about another 20 minutes uncovered then after 20 minutes i'm going to take it out and look at it see what it looked like after 20 minutes this is what it looked like so now we're going to turn the oven on broil you can broil it for about two to four minutes but me i love my veggies a little bit a little crunchy crispy end so i like to leave it for like at least five to seven minutes extra so after that time this is what it looked like i started eating my gosh guys it tastes so good this is what it looks like it's very flavorful this is something that i'm going to do from now on anytime i'm craving vegetable this is a lot of vegetable you got your tomatoes potato eggplant onion chickpeas my gosh all of the different herbs and spices you can think of this is a great vegetable dish and this was a great video i'm glad i did check out that influencer video and kind of like pull some inspiration from it but made it my way and change certain things about it so guys i hope you have a good day thanks for watching it's nice and crispy as well